Oh, he just closed her eye. Well, if this is the end of the movie, um... Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Hi, welcome back to Crucial Classics. If this is your first time here, welcome to our channel. Plenty of content for you to binge if you love old movies. You've landed in the right spot. We watch them from start to finish on this channel. We start looking at the wall of my living room, decorated like this because old movies are important for the past 32 years. Today is a first time watch. Can we make some history here and just about get straight into watching it? I don't want to spoil anything about this movie because it is a first time watch. 1949, Betty Davis, Joseph Cotton. I thought this would be the result when I looked up Betty Davis and Joseph Cotton movie. Thought this would be the only result and two other things came up and I know Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte and I still have never seen that thing all the way through was a result so much later than this. And there was even something else. So the only thing that kind of occurs to me about Joseph Cotton, was he possibly a free agent? Because I'm pretty sure we're gonna see this is from Warner Brother. But I was, brothers, I was just thinking that um, he made, since you went away, Selznick. I don't know if it even had a studio that we saw attached to it. And, you know, I feel like maybe he was a free agent. Uh, Betty Davis, legendary. We have maybe a little bit too much of her on the channel so the reason why I really just want to get into this I did just do a rather longer watch along of a Joan Crawford movie which will be up on the channel before this one is and um, I did want to do them back to back so I kind of just want to get started but yeah it's like it is kind of a drag for me people when it's a first time watch and I get any type of an inkling of what the storyline is about so oh what I do think I know about this movie but I'm not sure because like I said three results came up when I looked up Betty Davis Joseph Cotton who's afraid of Virginia Woolf they've just kicked some people out of the house I feel like or they have come anyway it is now a moment where just Elizabeth Taylor is alone with Richard Burton and she's eating a chicken. She goes into the refrigerator and pulls out a chicken leg and she's chomping on the chicken leg. And I feel like she's kind of looking around their little house and she wants to use a line that Betty Davis hurls at Joseph Cotton to describe, I don't know, what she thinks of their house that they're living in and she's like what's the name of that I mean of course what's the name of that movie with you know with Betty Davis and Joseph Cotton when she comes in and I feel like she says she comes into the kitchen and she says what a dump what's the name of that movie what a dump <laughs> I think <laughs> this is the movie so let's just get started I, let me get it queued up and I will hit you back with the run time and we'll push, both push play. On my channel, please have the best viewing experience and that would be to watch this video of me and the movie at the same time on the same screen. Making it work is two tabs, this video of me in one tab, the movie in another. They will pull them both off of the screen, they're gonna lock back together side by side and then pull the movie to take up more of the screen. Um, if you can do everything wirelessly, there is a play on TV button on this video of me. Push that, another box pops up picture in picture, push that button. That shrinks and floats this video of me. So the goal is put me somewhere small in a corner of the full screen movie. And I always am hoping that you're watching the movie biggest part of your screen. I'm just in a corner. There will be a runtime timer in the corner here, hour, minute, second. That's my playback of watching the movie. 
just make sure that's where your playback of the movie is and that's how we're in sync. Let's get started. Let me get it queued up. Okay, runtime, hour 32, 45. Make sure it's ready. All right, playing in three, two, one. Click. I had to, it's very loud, right? I've already got it kind of turned on. Oh, they get the same level billing. Yeah, I mean, he's a legend by this time himself, right? Joseph Cotton, Beyond the Forest. See, I didn't even know the name of this movie, but just now to test audio, I clicked into early into the movie and it was in a trial. So a little bit of a spoiler alert, but what the F was that for, right? Is it Ori Kelly? Edith Head, okay. She's still at Warner Brothers. You know, at a certain point, I know Ori Kelly does pass away. Uh, Max Steiner, was it early on, like in the heyday of Hollywood, or was it later? King Vidor. This is the story of evil. Wow. Oh. Okay, well, it's not moving. Oh, okay. I mean, it is salutary for us to view it in all its naked ugliness once in a while. Thus, may we know how those who deliver themselves over to it end up like the scorpion in a mad fury, stinging themselves to eternal death. All right, wow. Um, this is a story of evil. That is the reason why not very long into this movie, there is a trial going on. And I just heard the judges like, I hope you're going to return a verdict. Wisconsin. It looks like a ghost town. Oh, that's what happens on Sunday. go home by it. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, you might want to move. Oh, in the courthouse. That's a big horse, too. Loyalton. I don't appreciate that this thing started out saying this is the story of evil. Okay, Rosa. All right, and Louis Moline was the doctor on this train. Well, did she run away one time to Chicago? Okay. Looks nice. Rosie. Yeah, so that it's not burning her eyes. Oh, a maid, they just said. Oh, buy her. Oh, they get to go to the trial too. How evil she is. To get the tea. Oh, these cabronas. How come they could never hook up with her? A coroner's inquest. 
quest. Okay. Right. This is what I heard. I had already clicked off. I. Oh, long black hair. Here she is fishing again, like in. Okay, it's not her. Uh, now Voyager, where I'm like, ew, uh, they touch the fish. I don't, I don't touch fish. Long black hair. Oh, that's her husband. He's the doctor. Moline. Yeah, okay. Oh, is, he's not a veterinarian, though. Oh, he doesn't make enough money. This is the movie here where she says, What a dump. Oh, they're going to hike it out up there or they have a car? Oh, they're rowing it out. <laughs> Are they all in this one little rowboat? Or Yeah, she's just getting rowed like Cleopatra. Is it enough for her? Is this guy's cabin? That's what he said. We better get started if we're going to make it to my cabin by tonight. She's supposed to be giving us ethnicity of some sort. Her heels, her stilettos. Have you guys ever seen? seen this movie to um not watch it is is she gonna what a dump uh, this is the movie it's gotta be you can she is a cabrona she was plucking her eyebrows oh she got a fifth oh nobody can know Boy, Betty Davis gives a good pursed lip, huh? <laughs> I mean, is she supposed to be giving us Native American because the girl that was her maid had hair like this? And they said the girl was Native American. Her. Never have I seen her look like this. Oh, he doesn't get to. She's bored.
Was that an eagle? That was cool. Is she trying to be alone with Moose? Oh, fire, water. He's been sober for three months. What's going on between her and Moose? Fire, water. She got a fifth of it. So she kept the letter. She knew this lady was pregnant and going into labor. And right when he wants to kiss her. Is she going to look back at Moose? Oh, the ankle seems just fine. It's a story of evil. Oh, because she's got the long black hair. She's evil. Did he say bacon and fried potatoes? Oh, sh that's why she said coffee. A story of evil. People, this is probably the rarest movie that we've watched. Have you guys ever seen it or had access to it? Oh, what is that? Uh, porcupine? Is she adding something for dinner? Wow. Porcupine. Look at her um, ample. So when people say this shit is for the birds, huh, that means you're a hoe. Okay, so she wanted him to drink the fifth. This is 49. She's looking good. Warner Brothers, it still was. By the time she makes, just isn't all about even 50. The next year, she's not at Warner anymore. Is this like maybe her last movie here? So she, this is her handiwork. She wanted him to pass out. I mean, a fifth hopefully is going to do that for anybody, no matter how much you can tolerate. But I mean, is this getting into dangerous territory too? Okay, yeah, there's 18 bedrooms up in here, huh? Oh, but she's left the property. This is an adjoining neighboring cabin, but he owns it. 
Oh, she wants, she's looking for something up in here. Huh? This is huge, too. She does have on some little spiky heels, huh? They actually look adorable. They look pretty comfy. They're high, but they're not spiky. They've got a little bit of a chunk to them. She can get around just fine. Huh? When she wasn't faking that, she had twisted her ankle. She was getting around just fine. This man in the um, plane is coming here to rendezvous with her. It's a story of evil. Is it George Brent, the way he used to signal? Well, she getting everything ready. So a lady needed to have the doctor come deliver her baby. She made him pass out. No, not Moose. Yes, this man that stars with Joan Crawford a lot. From me. She sure is giving us some motion. seeing some intensity going on. Um, so was the lady really in labor? I guess she was. Um, I guess because the baby's been born. But the way she was talking shit to this dude, it's um, because it was the baby's a month early. It seemed like she might have lied just to get him to come here and then oh, she wasn't really in labor. Well, the baby's alive. Is she? Wishing. Well, what's up with her? It's an emergency that she needs it. I would imagine she needs it right now. That sounds to me like he's saying that she's hemorrhaging. Hmm. Is 
Um, he's the only doctor in town. It's a small town. He's too tired. Is he gonna get into a car accident? Cause Betty Davis says it's an accident. However, whoever is no longer with us. I don't care. Oh, he has millions. With his gun. Okay. Well, she got the porcupine. As a pro. I. Oh, so what is he trying to let her know he can get better than hers? Or her? And he comes from Chicago. Uh oh, she probably don't like people to laugh at her. Huh? This fool jacked Joan Crawford up in uh, the Damn Don't Cry, and she says that he was really jacking her up. What an interesting movie this is, huh? Oh, wait, so she slapped the taste out of dude's mouth, letting him know she wants him to marry her. So she got to get a divorce from this dude. Or, or no because it's a story of evil. She's not going to go through the court system about it. <laughs> well, is she coming home? Ever again? <sighs> oh, she is there. Oh, the dude from Chicago. The millionaire. We'll make yourself something. Oh. 
Oh, he needs to go get it. What a dump. So the women in the town were at this inquest hearing because they want to know what is it that makes Rosa so different from them. It's got a little glass of milk and a butter sandwich. Butter and jelly. I was wondering, does she not sit on this thing? appropriately. How'd they end up together? Oh, she married him because he was a doctor. She thought he was loaded. Story of evil. Damn. She's giving herself a run for her money from, ooh, what is that movie? Is it called In This Our Life with uh, Olivia de Havilland and Dennis Morgan? She's evil as hell in that movie too. Okay, so dude um, said to her that every bitch has to get paraded in front of him from Chicago. And so why would he want to settle for her? That's what he said. And then she slapped him. And then they kissed. So is he marrying her? Is he going to be the one that ends up no longer alive? Yeah, I'm loving her heels. The little strap around the ankle. That's what... Uh, Joan Crawford was giving us. So she always comes down to this train, they said. And she's always just thinking about jumping on it. And because this train's always going to Chicago. I've never seen her with black hair before. Or such long hair either. So these are people coming here from Chicago and she just comes and watches. She isn't expecting anybody, right? That dude flies in. Yeah, she's miserable here. How did she get connected to Cotton? Oh, because you wanted to show it off. You never travel without it. What does this mean? Is she connected to this dude? Oh, it's just... Staying long. 
long. She's going up to that cabin. This is a school, right? Okay, no, this is, that's that lady's brood of children looking like, um, a school. She can get these little private letters, mutual help you. It's just, it was junk mail. She's not hearing from that man. But that chick that just came through is going up to his lodge. Oh, she's from this town. So she's from here. Uh, Joseph Cotton came here from someplace else. Yes, she wants dude to marry her. So as long as he would say that he wants to do that, how could she work it out? What's up with her eyes, this girl? Oh, uh because -huh, she wasn't about to do those things. nicest house in town so that she doesn't have to be breathing in this smoke. This is far away from it. And she can't leave on her own to go become a stenographer or a waitress. Or she said something else. She set her sights on a millionaire. He's all that will do. Who's with him? She didn't know he had a daughter. Oh, do they have any supper? Oh, Jenny was boiling something up. Oh, 
no drink or anything? Is that what he's counting him out for? She is boiling something. I was <laughs> just... What is this? An olive? Is he from here? Oh, and she's the only lady that has a maid in town. So I gotta take one at a time. <laughs> Where is she going? Because before her husband was a hundred feet away. Oh, she's feeling on her coat. How come she knew her name was Carol L Lawson? Uh, she, she did say Carol. She did introduce her first name. I was like, has she seen her initials on something up at this guy's cabin? So he abandoned her family when she was born. Carol's gonna walk in. How did Betty Davis feel about making this movie? Did she choose it? Did she want it? Is this the straw that breaks the camel's back and why she leaves Warner? How did she leave Warner Brothers? Was it mutual? She went out. She wasn't happy there with them for a long time. Huh? She sued them. I think she may have sued any studio she was with, right? Um, although perhaps not because I told you guys I get a feel that MGM didn't hit the game intentionally trying to come with just a B-quality movie. And Warner was putting it out there. That's what they're about. And I think they tried to assign her to those types of movies at times. Wow. Yeah, that'd be a creepy way to be trying to sleep with the flame coming in through your window. Ah! <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> it's definitely not all of a sudden. Well, he works and doesn't get paid, though. Huh. <laughs> Does he have anywhere near that? It's pure evil. Is that what it, did it start out saying this is a story of pure evil? Accounts receivable. She's looking at what people oh, she gonna start doing some collection calls. <laughs> She's going to get this money, yeah. Huh? Oh, now they don't talk to him. He has his own little office um, that he operates out of. So people are not talking to him now because she's making all these collection threats. People, it's really, really late. I'm just watching two movies tonight. Oh, they're paying him in eggs and stuff. Is that a thing of eggs? Oranges? Change? An envelope of change? Fruit and stuff? Food. Oh, he's pissed off about how paid they've just gotten. Is it enough? <laughs> oh. Well, why somebody got to pass away if she just gets to leave and go to Chicago? She's going to be looking for this dude. Oh, she's coming straight to him. The Lake Water Hotel. Is this where he stays? She just came and got the penthouse in this hotel because he's going to pay the bill.
Hmm. These heels that she is wearing are everything. Oh, she's waiting a long time. Does she keep calling back? Or is she just waiting? Well, he told her, um... All the chicks in Chicago right here get paraded in front of him. She didn't like that, but I don't think obviously anything got arranged. Oh, she's coming over. Is he there? Is he there? He's not there. Time Digest. It was Today in the other movie we just watched. The Today magazine instead of Time and now Time Digest. Oh, so she's actually waiting here a while. the back exit does she have enough for this penthouse suite that she checked herself into she knew she was planning on him paying that bill she can't even get connected with him. She was only calling him here, huh? Is his home number not listed in the phone book? Who is calling her? And girl, don't forget your purse. Wow, um, operator, you were just talking to her two seconds ago, like, I don't switch over into a recording. So now here she is, laying all weird on this bed. Hey, 
He's married. Um, he's going to be the one that, uh, is what this inquest is for, right? Ooh. He was meaning to write her a letter, use the private entrance, exit, but he will bother to tell her in person, like Kitty Foyle. Uh, that's not happening, right? Okay. A home, a family. He did say things. Oh, um, they were supposed to have changed him. Oh, this dog. Well, of course he is. She ain't going to just take the money. She needs a check. I'm surprised she wouldn't take it. Oh, he's letting her out. Oh, she said something else. When he feels bad, he just got red for felt. He took it. Okay, Rosa. So what's up now? She ain't going back to Louis. What's his, is that his name, Louis? Louis Moline. And that's why she's Rosa Moline. Who's this creepy dude coming up? Yeah, that dude was creepy.
Hmm. This is an interesting story, yeah. Why? Okay. That was a cop that just came up on her? Is she coming back to Lewis? She knows she can, right? So she had enough money to cover when she ran up in Chicago there. comfortable way she was sitting in that chair. Is this their house? And he just has the doctor's night bell on the his front door. He expects that it's her, right? What's his reaction about to be? Does she say what a dump again? I'm oh, giving her a glass of milk. And just go to sleep, shut the hell up, and we'll talk about it in the morning, or no? Why? Has, we ain't seen that happen in this movie yet. Alright, he can do what he needs to do. He can handle himself, huh? Joseph Cotton, we ain't never seen him. Not, I mean, not that we really ever see him as a player either. Oh, he was quite the player in, um, since you went away. Hey, sugar. Beyond the forest. Well, how long has that been? Different from everybody else. <clears throat> Could it be, I 
I mean, because how long has it been since he did what he needed to do? It, well, obviously, long enough that he's not worried. Oh, she's permanently here now. Yeah, we know you have it, sweetie. <laughs> Pure evil, right? Carol, why do you care so much about Rosa coming or not? All these other people you got here. How would she know? Oh, isn't this um, the spot where she met alone with Duke? They just have it filled up with tables. No. Oh, how old is this dude? Like 800 years old? Damn. by himself. Why is he introducing him there first? Okay. Introduce him to the room. Yeah. 80. Yeah. I'll make this man pass out. I'm trying to blow that out. Oh, wow, they're really doing a hardcore square dance, huh? Square dancing it out, dude. No side out. I told you guys that when I was growing up in school, where the F am I from? We had to do square dancing in gym class. It was disgusting having to touch hands with those dirty little gross punk <laughs> clowns oh clammy dirty hands oh they're touching hands this fool straight up came up here to the I, yeah, I was saying this fool straight up came up here to get his square dance on, and he said, I only came up here to see you. I'm noticing that he seems to be alone. She's nosy like that, but she can tell. She's reading. Oh, that was her husband. That was Louis that got pulled away just now. I only came here to see you. What in the world is going on now? Is he playing with her? Oh, look at... Mm. Okay. Look at what she's standing next to.
Okay. Well. I was just pregnant. Oh, why I gotta have a gun real quick? What's the bigger than my gun? Oh. And she can work with it. So he came up to, he was looking for them. This dude is really trying to go hunting. Oh, she's coming too. Well, it's probably that dude's Baby. Oh. Latimer. Oh, so that's the dude she's trying to get with. I'm the. Oh, you already heard my question before. I said, is it enough time since Joseph Cotton handled his business one time in 25 years? To where he was not concerned that she said that she was pregnant. Because I was more so thinking that it wasn't his. Um, um, old man, this nosy old man is going to be the one that's no longer alive. But it's about to be only an accident. Oh, she getting some shells. <laughs> oh, the binoculars. Pure evil. I mean, I'm just saying, you would think Rosa would, um, Ava Gardner herself in Snows of Kilimanjaro. Oh, she's a sharpshooter. She gonna try and say this, she about to take this full out at this range, <laughs> and it's an accident. She's looking for him. Okay, yeah, I mean, there's going to be no defense, Rosa. You can't be such a sharpshooter and try and call that an accident.
It's the black hair. Oh, everything's just right back on for this dude. Beyond the Forest is the name of this movie. Oh, they're just burying the old man. Yeah, everybody in the town would be here. And this whole stayed around long enough for the funeral, too. Yeah, Carol lost her father. She said you were never so conventional. Something's going to happen to him in the plane. Still with child. Wow, this is a movie I could never have imagined the storyline to. I would never have expected to see her. I circling back her appearance. Has she ever come anywhere near looking like this in anything else? Oh yeah, cause it was a big day for her. So what does this mean, Rosa? Well, he, then he told her, yeah, and then he, that's why she came back. No, oh, well damn. It is. Just an inquest. Pure evil.
I'm just she wiping off lipstick. What was she getting dressed up in a plaid shirt for? She just drove. This is her? Or that was making her look like um, her maid? Oh, it's just her maid right there. I thought this movie was pretty short. It felt quite long. I haven't taken a look at where we are, but, um, what's she coming to see the law about? It was, a, I heard that that was an inquest hearing. Is it the same thing as she ain't in double jeopardy? What is she here at a lawyer's office for? She was trying to come file paperwork. Why on earth is that the way that she would try and handle it? Why are they on a windy mountain road right now? Beyond the forest. She's gonna, um, drive, she's gonna take the steering wheel real quick. Force it. People, I told you it is so late, I wonder if the sun is starting to come up. <laughs> like this since back in the day when this was all I used to do. So, what? A what? A rug? I don't know what she said. Is she taking off? That's as far as she got. Wasn't enough. Is she in a hospital right now? Or her bed at home? He's a doctor. <laughs> this is a mess, dude. She is too evil. Huh? Boy, she loves this hair huh? <laughs> in this movie. What is going on? Why is the music all upbeat? She just seems settled, in, settled into life. Blowing the dust off of her little mirror. It's gonna lipstick it up and stick it out in this town, huh?
Oh, he was right there. Yeah, she's just at home. Why? It's happening in a few days. Where's Latimer, huh? Because we sure were wondering if something was going to happen to him in the plane going back to Chicago. I guess not. Is it poisoned? Ah, oh, what's the matter with her? He said he's not gonna hold back her recovery. Meaning, he's gonna let her recover. But she doesn't look okay, right? What the F is going What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> is he poisoning? What is going on? So it still looks like it's daytime and here he is home, right? She rolled down a hill. Now she's burning up with a fever. Oh, yeah, he gave to Jenny. He's like, give her this. Keep her on this. Isn't that what he said? Keep her on this. <laughs> yeah, oh, heck. Because it's not dark. Well, it's just don't. Child? Oh, he about to <laughs> inject something into her. What in? <sighs> yeah, well, what happened to Latimer? She lost. Okay, well, good for you. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be letting this fool inject me with nothing either. Um, so she woke up chipper because she's no longer with the child. <laughs> for some more medicine, some more medicine. What, what is happening right now, though? She is all under the influence of something, right? Okay. 
I don't understand where we're at. I, I don't get this. What's taking place? What has her in this state? Why does she have a fever? Why is she delirious? Yeah, well, is the train, is it too late for the train or what? What is she concocting? She's putting on mascara. <laughs> what happened to her that this is the state that she's in? Is he poisoning her? And he had to go get more medicine? It's a race right now of if she'll get out of the house before he gets back. The shoes have been everything throughout the film. Edith Head. It's Joseph Cotton coming back. Wow. Is she going to have to walk to this train station? Because Latimer wants to marry her, right? This is a pretty bad movie. Yeah. Was this the straw that broke the camel's back for <laughs> Betty Davis and Warner to be parting ways? no way of telling. I told you I didn't want to um, look up any part of the plot or... Okay, is the train is here? Is she just going to miss it? Yeah, we have lost track of the dude that has millions and was going to marry her. She can't get on the train. She just missed it. She's right up at it, but she's in no state to try and run and catch it. Oh, she's passed out.
She gives us this much in, um, of human bondage. Uh, Oh, he just closed her eye. Well, if this is the end of the movie, um... Did they run out of budget? That, wow, was only an hour and 32 minutes of our life. It's an important one. Do you saw that? We have seen that now. They don't play that. I told, we just watched two movies today. They don't play this shit. You got to go out of your way and find this. Um, there's a reason why they don't play this one. The other one, there's a reason why they don't play that one too, but there's a reason why they don't play this one. never know we know when it's a first time watch we don't know and when we go blind like this we couldn't tell we didn't know um, we ain't getting the time back but <laughs> we've seen it it's under our belt and it's another i would say a rarer one of betty davis so <laughs> i've hit you guys back to back i might need to take a break um you know we'll see you I'll try and hit you guys up definitely by um, Easter is uh, the last Sunday of this month. So take care. Have a good week. Have good weeks. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.